Kom maar, open. Oh, my bad. <laughs> All the way to the 18-yard line. Yep, mm -hmm. my bad. And 42 yards. Let's see, uh, let's get the total on that, Tony. That's 32, 30, 37 yards on the pass that time. Yes, a big play on third down and six there for the Bulldogs to pick that up. Josh Williams on the big reception. First, first down of the ball game for Dora. 748 open the quarter. Door leading seven to nothing. Here comes Eric Rogers around right in on a little jet sweep action. Going to be forward to about the 15 yard line, gain of about five yards. Great job by the door offense getting the ball in your playmaker's hands there. You get a speed sweep to Eric Rogers, and maybe the fastest, one of the fastest kids on the field for the Bulldogs now. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a little technical difficulty coming in. Buddy Spartan, Tony Hedrick. Here with you, Donnie Early and Noah Sumner. First play of the ball game, Garrett Hogan hits Sean Pryor for 57 yards for a touchdown on the first play of the game. Tremendous Doyle catch. <laughs> driving again, Sean Pryor runs out of an arm tackle, runs forward. He's going to be near the 10-yard line, about the 11, give him four. I'll bring up third and about two. Yes, a good job by Sean Pryor. Then a big hole there just this closed down quick by Northside, but able to get this in. A very manageable yardage here for the Bulldogs in this third down play. Dora held the rounds on four downs from the Dora 48-yard line. They took off, took over after an onside kick. Didn't go far enough, but Dora held them and right back down the field into Mr. B's red zone on their second possession. 6.38 to go in the opening quarter. Fire's going to have Jamarcus Goodman alongside him. They'll talk about it now. Play clock at four, three, two. Going to have to snap it. Give it all to Goodman. Looks on the right side, going to slip inside the 10, got near the 9. Boy, going to be close, Tony. Yeah, Coach Williams was coming down the sideline trying to get a timeout then, but I think he's glad now he didn't because I believe they got enough for that first down. Yardage then for, from Jamarcus Goodman. Just a great individual effort again by Goodman. So good for the second court, first down of the night for Door Again, Mr. B's red zone. Mr. B's Express Car Wash, Highway 78 in Summerton. Be sure you go by and see them patronizing. Tell them appreciate you and bringing you Door House to football. Pryor's going to run it to the right this time, trying to get the edge over there. He's going to run out of bounds down about the five-yard line of a gain of three. Just student body right that time, and just a great job by Northside just not giving him the edge to be able to turn up field. Pryor comes into the ball game tonight, Tony, with... Not 649 yards on 91 carries. Jamarcus come in with 712 yards on 101 carries. Prior also 1,121 yards passing. So adding to that right now, second down and goal from the north side five-yard line. Big, big, huge regional game here tonight. Don't get any bigger than this one. Looks like somebody's going to use a timeout. It may be Dora. And timeout, and we'll take it with them. Be right back with you. Hello everyone, I'm Maggie Laycock, Marketing Coordinator with Ken Glover Drug located in Dora. I would like to personally invite you for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience for all of your pharmacy and your DME needs. We supply things like wheelchairs, seat lift chairs, hospital beds, patient lifts, home respiratory items such as oxygen, CPAP, BiPAP and nebulizers, DME might also include supplies such as insulin pumps, glucose monitoring supplies, diabetic testing supplies and shoes, as well as ostomy and catheter supplies. DME, HME as it's often referred to, is a covered benefit with almost all insurances and King Glover Drug prides itself on being one of the only local providers that will file insurance for the portable oxygen concentrator like the OxyGo pictured here. So stop on in and see us and talk to a rep on how these items can best benefit you. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, second down and five, or second down and goal for the Dora Bulldogs from the north side rounds five-yard line. 5.44 to go in the opening quarter. Dora seven, north side nothing. Sean Pryor will be standing back along his 10-yard line with Jamarcus Goodman alongside. Corey Pryor tight to the right. Eric Rogers to the left, swing pass out here to Goodman. Give it to him to five. He'll walk in, touchdown, dogs. Great call that time. He's got everybody in, just not taking account for that back out of the backfield. Then 
to Marcus Goodman. He's out into the flats, just wide open there to put the Bulldogs up. 13 to nothing with this extra point to come. So prior to Goodman, the door jumps down north side, throwed in a hurry here tonight. Riley Willingham in to try to extend it to 14 nothing. Garrett Hoagland with a hold. High snap. Gonna have to just fall on it, and he's gonna try to run it. And it'll go no good, so that'll leave the score. Door 13. And uh, Northside Nothing will be right back with you. MAK is your local lumber and building supply store with the vision of becoming your one-stop shop that is right around the corner for everything from framing packages on new builds, remodels, and anything in between. We offer a wide spectrum of items from deck packages with installation options to plumbing, electrical, and roofing supplies. Our team is here to help you tackle any project, whether you're a pro or a do-it-yourselfer, and we'll load your lumber for you. Come see Chris and Eric Hoagland at MAK Lumber. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. And Riley Willingham with the kickoff for Dora. Returned out to about the 23 yard line. So North side to go to work right there for their second possession here of the first quarter. Four downs and nothing on the first set. Great, great tackle by Neil Foster down on coverage on the kickoff that time for the Bulldogs. For Northside, the man that triggers everything, Tony, quarterback number 13, Braden Green. He's kind of the heart and soul of this offense for Northside. But yeah, Dorgan, getting this two-touchdown lead now early in this game. That's, that's going to take out a lot of what Northside wants to do. They want to just get toe-to-toe -to -toe and just follow their fullback there a lot of times. And Green going to keep it this time and slips out of initial tackle. Going to be forward for a gain of looks like about two yards. A yard, maybe two. And this week it'll be key for that Dora defense. You really, you may have your your player of the game on that. You may not make a tackle just from the defensive line position just to be able to keep this offensive line off your linebackers there and let them go and flow and make these stops for the Bulldogs tonight. That's exactly right. Second down and eight from the 26-yard line now for the Rams. Beautiful facility down here in Samantha, Alabama. Beautiful artificial field down here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Second down, handoff coming around the right side this time. A little jet sweep. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be Jaden Griffin. Looks like Cole Chapman may have gotten turned a little bit by the, the lead blocker that are on the edge. But Jaden Griffin coming up with another big, huge stop for this door of Bulldogs. He's a little banged up last week and was held out a lot, but just coming in tonight, just in that safety position, just making some huge licks already. Tony, it's amazing how fast Jaden Griffin can cover ground. My gracious. Third down and four now for the Rams. Unable to convert on their first third down try. Green going to take it, roll to the right this time. Pressure coming on him. He gets out of the initial tackle at the 35, and he'll have first down yardage for the Rams. Again, they're doing a very good job on the point of contact there. Just been able to get to the outside and to be able to pick up enough yardage for this first down. Ladies and gentlemen, remember our good friend Ken Glover down at Ken Glover Drugs Indoor for all your prescription and medical needs. They'll be glad to take care of you down there. They've been a longtime sponsor of ours. Highway 78 right there on the left side of the highway going toward Jasper. Also, Summerton Church of God, Pastor Harv Turner, and youth pastor Philip Walker. All great folks over on the hill there at Summerton Church of God. First down for the Rams, 336 to go in the opening frame. Door 13, north side, nothing. Another handoff. Coming around the right side at the 40 and the 41 yard line. A gain of about six that time on the run. That's Luke Jones. Again, Dora missing one of their better defensive linemen now. Tonight, Luke Manning out. And this is a game where you're probably going to play four and five defensive linemen at a time. 
I don't think Cole Chapman's very happy right now. I think he got hooked a little bit then, and he, I think he was bringing it to the official. But I can tell you what Coach Williams will tell you. There's no holding. you got to get away from that. Got to get away from him. Exactly right. Second down now and a long four for the Rams. Everybody in tight for them. Haven't used a wide set tonight at all. Quarterback's going to keep it again. And this time he's going to be forward right at the sticks. Very, very close. I think Green's going to have the second first down of the night for the Rams, and he does. Again, you can just keep an eye on the fullback there for Northside. He's coming across the formation that time. It's the lead blocker. A lot of times you'll see him lined up kind of sort of like that monster back or wing back behind the tackle. He's going to – he'll take you to the football 90% of the time probably in this offense. Second first down of the ball game for the north side Rams. Football just shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. 2.15 in the clock moving here in the first quarter. Running it again as they have done all night. A great play there by Jaden Griffin. Looked like him flying in. It may have been Neil Foster. Maybe in Foster. Neil Foster coming in that time just reading that play. That time the, the lead play to the, to the running back. Tony Green Top Barbecue is ready to serve barbecue tomorrow, football day. We will be there all day tomorrow, <laughs> good Lord willing. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have some Green Top Barbecue if you're going to watch football. I, I think that's mandatory, isn't that, Tony? That and wings it's and ranch the, dressing. <laughs> I think it's actually in the Bible somewhere. That's right. I've read it. Green Top and football. Second down and eight. Now for the Rams. Ball at the 59-yard, excuse me, 49-yard line. Can't be at the 59. Quarterback keeper again. He gets drove back by Foster at midfield. He'll be forward for a gain of two. Bring up fourth down and about five. Third down, about five. Another good stop by Neil Foster that time. Dory did a better job just breaking that out. Then and just coming up and making the stop and not giving him anywhere to be able to turn up field. Clock will run under one minute to play in the first quarter. Remember, Edwards Insurance, I used to see on Main Street in Summerton as well. Brenda and Chris, Aaron, all the great folks there for your insurance needs. Third down now and six for the Rams. Rams shift. Going heavy to the left side this time. See if they go that way. Going to run it right straight up the middle at the heart of the door defense and not going to get there. Going to be forward for a gain of three. Bring up fourth down once again. Again, another big play by the store defense to put this in this, this situation. I assume that, the, that they will go for this. They've been had a couple of shifts here. Door got to pay attention and watch the football and not jump. Don't know that Northside will snap again here in the first quarter. Fourth and one. And they will not snap it again. That takes us to the end of the first quarter. Door 13, north side, nothing. We'll be right back here on the Door High School Network. The Edwards Agency has been in business for over 40 years, serving our customers in Jefferson and Walker County. At the Edwards Agency, we put personal touch in personal insurance. We have a dedicated staff of licensed agents that will help you in finding the best coverage available at a competitive rate. Allow our agents to help navigate you through all the coverage limitations and exclusions so you can make an informed decision on the best coverage and best protection for your insurance needs. The Edwards Agency, with two locations to serve you in Summerton and in Jasper. Hey, Dad, now that school's back in session, let's give them a mattress lesson. Okay. Is Dover's Mattress Closeout Center a true closeout center, or is it just a name on the wall? Kids, Dover's Mattress Closeout Center is not just a name on a building. We truly acquire and sell scuffed, discontinued closeout mattresses and adjustable beds discounted on average 40 to 50% off. Wow, that was better than a math lesson. But remember the sloss that frost. Oh, boy. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, fourth down and one for Northside at the 44-yard line of door as we get ready to start the second quarter of play. Quick scoring recap for you, Dory got on the board, as we said, on the very first play of the football game, Garrett Hoagland on a halfback pass, 57 yards to quarterback Sean Pryor for a 7-0 lead as Riley Willingham added the extra point, and then 
At the 537 mark prior again to Jamarcus Goodman's wing pass out of the backfield for a 13 nothing edge. That's where we stand right now as the team swaps sides. Boy, you missed it. If you didn't see that catch that Sean Pryor made on that, it was the, the Hugland was under a lot of pressure and just able to get the ball up in the air enough and just Sean Pryor with a one-handed catch and then could not be caught and then going into the end zone. All right, big play right here. Fourth down and a penny for north side. Quarterback Green standing back at midfield. DP Licks to run it again. He's kept it a lot tonight. He keeps it again. He's going to have first down yardage. He first to 10 for the Rams. be their third first down of the ball game. Yeah, just, just putting that fourth down and one play, that's what they're made for. Just got that one. Well, they just shot something at us. <laughs> I didn't know what that was for a second. It was a T-shirt cannon. Well, Sorry about that. <laughs> Tony, we had not got to talk about it because we had a little trouble getting on air out of this game tonight. You win this ball game, you get a home game to start the playoffs. If not, you're going to end up probably a three seed in the region and have to travel. So, huge ball game right here for both these ball teams. Yeah, it is. This is just a huge game here, proceeding here. We'll run it again to the left side this time. Stiff arm and out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Big gain of four. Good job by the door defense again just to string that out, but still just able to turn it up field. Had a missed tackle there, allowed him to pick up four or five yards. Watch out, here comes one. Listen, they're going to have to get one up here high enough now. Yeah, they're going to have to. I'm not diving for it. <laughs> and if that's, a, if that's a small, medium, or large, I'm throwing it back. <laughs> Nose of the football, 35-yard line of Dora. Second down and four for the Rams. New quarterback. No, quarterback Sally. gets off the end of the round this time. That's going to be first down yardage. And that's going to be number 19 on the carry that time. That's Jaden Roberts. Good call that time. Just coming back with the counter to the backside. Then just really just going against their trends on offense. Just able to pick up huge yards that time. Eight yards on the play and the first down. Ladies and gentlemen, Dover Mattress out in Jasper. I'd like to mention them while we got just a moment here. Also, Iron Drive Fitness over on Green Top Hill. Scott Ferguson and the folks over there. Three great place to work out and get in great shape. Here we go, first and ten. Quarterback keeper up the middle. Good job by the door defense. Hold him to maybe a half yard. Good job by Jaden. Excuse me, by uh, Erbrick that time, just getting upfield then uh, and just stopping the quarterback then. And he's he's listed as 5'10 on the roster, but he's every bit. He's a he's a well-put-together young man out there. Tony, the young man tonight in the ball game, seven carries, 14 yards. The door's done their job keeping him corralled. I don't it, – this will be a fast ball game. If it keeps up like this, the north side has not don't even, they don't even have a wide out on the team, I don't guess. No. Nope. <laughs> Somebody's going to use the timeout again. See what we got right here. I don't think it's a heat timeout. Maybe an illegal substitution penalty or something. Got a timeout for Dora, I do believe. We waved the flag off, I do believe. Waved the flag off, and Dora did take the timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to talk about our elite roofing Athlete of the week this week, and we're going to talk about none other than Tony, the number 23, Jaden Rouse. Uh, Jaden ain't the biggest kid in the world, but boy, I tell you what, he's tough at a pine knot, ain't he? Yeah, he is a tough kid. He received the opening kickoff tonight from his up back position, had a good run, got out of across the 40 yard line. Still, just one of those kids, just a tremendous athlete, great football player, great uh, wrestler, also. And I tell you one thing, I, I can understand the scholar part of it because for those who don't know, his mother Jennifer lived next door to me when she was a door. She's class valedictorian. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's real smart. She's a lot smarter than I was put all together. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Jaden Rouse, number 23, the elite roofing scholar athlete of the week, brought to you by our friends Kyle Chance and all the great folks at Elite Roofing in Dora. I want to say congratulations to Jaden. Second down and nine for the Rams now. Ball at the 25 yard line of Dora. 10.07 to go before halftime. Door 13, north side, nothing. Thank you for your Number seven, Sean Pryor in the game at the linebacker as well. 
Shot in at linebacker and north side. If they throw one, it's going to shock Stew out of me. A little end around action. Called in the backfield. Cam Number 15, Big Cam. Cam. The Cam. Cam hammer, baby. The vicious stop that time again by Cam Gauthier then. That's what you've got to do is get them behind the chains here. Make this a third down and about 13 or 14 yards here. This really puts them behind the chains and takes them out of schedule. So you got to look. They may take a shot downfield sometimes here. Oh. Yeah, Tony, great play right there by Cam. Loss of five on the run that time by Jaden Roberts. Third and 13 for the Rams. Quarterback's going to keep it around left end again. Oh, Sean Pryor all over him at the 34-yard line. He's going down right there. Got a, a penalty right there where it would be holding. So Dora have the choice, but I, I think that you're going to probably take this penalty here and make this fourth down here, making because it's going to should be fourth down and about 17. If you decline, yeah, if you decline the penalty, it'll be fourth down. Yes, I think you take the penalty here. Let's see what the man in the white hat says. Holding against the Rams. And Dora declines it, so that will be fourth down. Fourth and 13 now for Northside. Yeah, you take the, you accept that penalty there, that you give them basically two downs to pick yeah. up. Pick up 20 yards where you're really fourth down and 17 here. All right, see what the Rams do here. You would think they would punt it in this situation, but. They're spreading the field out. They When they when they were punting in warm-ups, they were, they were punting from a, just a sugar punt kind of. So I don't, I'm not for sure how, what type of punting that they have. I see what they come up with here. Fourth down, fourth and 16. Got to take it all the way down to about the 13. They're going to drop back. It looks like they are going to run it. And going down in the backfield again. Number 19, Corey Pryor all over the running back. Back at the 39-yard line, going to lose seven. You had him in his sights, and he was not going to let him go. Great tackle by Corey Pryor. But Northside for the second time in the ball game turns the ball over on downs. And Tony had a good drive going on right there. I mean, that was a 14-play drive for nothing. That's the big thing now. Doris kicking team the last few weeks has gotten a lot better with Riley Williams has been booming the ball back. So you're pinning them back inside the 30-yard line there, making them drive the ball the length of the field like that just with it. I just like my chances with the door defense against that. Tony, for life of me, I don't know why you go for it on fourth and 16 when you're down two touchdowns. That's going to be Ty Clayton on the carry for door that time up to the 39-yard line, gain of two. Good run by Clayton. Then he's just kind of giving your 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 alternate look there. You get Jamarcus Goodman, and then you come back with him, and he's he hits the hole just a little bit quicker. A little bit more explosive, just kind of hides behind some of those blockers, but there. But a great job by Northside coming up, and making the stop. Tony, at what point do you hit Josh Williams downfield somewhere? Fire takes it, slaps his hands together. Going to keep it. Might should have optioned it right there. Going to go down for the loss of two to be up third down and ten. Yeah, that's a new wrinkle. The door has really not ran much of the just some type of the spread option like that. And you, you might look that it may, <laughs> may want to try and pick one of them up and throw it at a little RPO part yeah. of it there. <laughs> well, he had Clayton out there. He could have easily just pitched it back to him and uh, cause the defense went straight to the quarterback that time. All right, here we go. Third down and ten for the Bulldogs. 7.36 to go in the half. Flyer back, looking, looking. He's going to load the right arm. Going to be under heavy pressure. He's going down back at the 30-yard line. Lost at seven. Yeah, that time, Dora, when Sean Fryer looked like the pocket was collapsing and tried stepping up, but Northside did a great job staying in their lanes and keeping him in the pocket then, not allowing him to escape out, to either use his legs or find somebody downfield like he has the last few weeks. So going to be three and out for Dora on that set of downs. Josh Williams will be in to punt for the Bulldogs. It's going to be number 19 dropping back for the Rams, and that's Jaden Roberts.
Williams will be standing along his 20-yard line. Doors not to hurry. One second left. High, high kick by Williams. Going to come down, hit, take a door roll inside the 30, inside the 25, and it's going to settle at the north side 21-yard line. Time out on the field. And, Tony, we want to talk about another great sponsor here on the Dora High School Network, and that would be a, a ABC Tire, Braden and Brian Braden Williams down on Rock, the Rocky Hall on Highway 78 going toward Jasper. For all your automotive tire needs. I also want to mention our good friend Paula Davis and Alexis and Amber and all the girls at Revival Salon down on Main Street in Summerton for all your hair care needs down there. 21-yard line for north side. Two possessions. Tony, two times. They turned it over on downs to Dora. So see if they do anything different on offense here on their third time. Yeah, they really, they're, they're coming back out now. A little bit more of a spread formation now. Going to give the handoff again. And not going to get much. Going to get a half yard, maybe. Luke Jones carries around right in. I think the speed of this door of defense, you're really going to have a hard time getting the edge. Like that. These the runs the off tackle and it's more at the straight at the defense is where they're going to have more of their, you know, just hoping three and four yards. That way, but if you can get them off schedule again here, if you can get hold them and put them in a third down long, I think it just makes them just a little bit more uncomfortable. Luke Jones on the ball gave seven carries for 24 yards. In fact, Green may have been changing his play there. Got two wideouts to the left this time. Have not attempted pass. They will now. And going to throw a quick pass to the 25-yard line. Going to bring up third down now in about six. Good stop by the Bulldogs that time. Now just bring up this third down and six play for the Bulldogs here. Really, you can get a stop here and get the ball back and get that offense rolling again. Neil Foster on the stop for Dora. Dora defensive line, they'll dig in. Caleb, Caleb Wade, Little Cam, Gauthier and company back to pass again. Looking, looking over, over the middle. Pass off, going to be way overhead. Oh, boy, Josh Williams. If he'd had another step, Tony, he'd have been there on the interception. Yeah, Incompletion. Good, yeah, good coverage again by the Bulldogs. Really had two men in coverage on the wide receiver then. But it, that may have been one that may have been better off to let, let hit because I think they're punting. They, you may have been pinned back deeper. That would have been better than a punt for them. Well, Tony, you thought they would have punted it on the last set of downs with the fourth and 16, but they didn't. Let's see if they punted here. Josh Williams standing back at the door of 45. She'll come out of this is an excellent field position. 5.05 left on the halftime clock. They will punt it. And it'll hit, and it'll be returnable. Josh can get to it. He puts his hands on it at the 45. Going to be up forward to the 46, and that's it. And Dora will have it there first and 10. So see what Dora can do here with five minutes and two timeouts left in the first half of play. Put another score up on the board here, Tony. It's going to stretch this north side bunch out some. Yeah, it is. If you can go up three scores on them, that's really going to put them in a, in a, in a bad position because I think that they're going to they, – they have a very big offensive line and like to pound behind it, and you can get them out of that. You're taking them away from their game plan tonight. So far in the ball game, door with 99 yards through the air and only 11 on the ground so far. But the – Big difference with that first play. Right, Pryor talks to his offensive line. He's going to have Demarcus Goodman alongside again and may have a timeout by Dora. Let's see. Got it. We do have a timeout by the Bulldogs. We'll take it with them. Be right back with you.
If you need new tires or you need a tire repaired, come see Braden and Brian Williams at the new ABC Tire and Repair on Highway 78. They have new and used tires. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, let's reset it. Five minutes to go before halftime, first and 10 Bulldogs at their own 41-yard line. I think you're going to try and get Jamarcus Goodman into this ball game here also. Pryor with the ball, steps back, gets a good pocket, loads up the right arm downfield looking for Rodgers. Good defensive play back there by Jaden Roberts. Great coverage that time by the north side then. But still, you've stretched the field a little bit. Now maybe you'd like to come back now and get Jamarcus Goodman possibly a run here and get him freed, freed up. Yeah, you got to get him involved, Tony. You got you got to get that kid in space, and he he can do magic things when you put the football in his hands. Yeah, I think last week he had six carries for 150 yards, uh, over 150 yards. So you really, you, he should be well rested and take some some carries tonight. 712 yards coming into the ball game tonight for Jamarcus. North side with three down linemen, two backers walked up close. Quarterback keeper this time. He's going to be forward. Going to fight across the 45 to the 46, bring up about third or third and four. That time just a – I'm not sure if that was just a check from Sean that time, but really had the numbers to the left then to gain, you know, six yards. But it's still just a good call then. Clock running 425 to go before halftime. I think that's showing the maturity that Sean Fryer is starting to show and the more confidence in this offense. They're running. All right, here we go, third and five for the Bulldogs. Quarterback keeper again, he's going to be forward. First down yard, Jim Murray breaks it at the 40, 30, 20. He'll go to the house, 46 yards, touchdown, dogs. Wow, well, split two defenders there after he picks up the first down. And just a great run by Sean Pryor then. I actually should be said 54 yards, Tony. He's on the opposite side of the field. Yes. <laughs> Great run again by Sean Pryor. Just, just really just didn't panic. Just to, when the pocket started collapsing in, just had an escape for out then, and you're not going to stop him. Number 26, Riley Willingham. Well, Pryor takes it to the house for Dora. Extends a lead to 19-0. Riley Willingham in to try to add the 20th point. This time the snap and placement are good. The kick is up. Cook is down the middle. Good timeout on the field. Dora 20 and north side nothing. We'll be right back. Come by and see the all-new Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique, located on Main Street in Summerton. They have five highly trained professionals on staff, specializing in all the latest cutting techniques and styles. They do color, extensions, and color correcting. And they offer top-of-the-line hair products, jewelry, and clothing. If you're in need of a new look, come by and see Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique in Summerton. Hey, Dora Bulldog fans. I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. And back in, Riley Willingham kicks it deep. And Neil Foster eats up the deep back for Northside at the 28-yard line. Wow, two big tackles tonight so far from Neil Foster on special teams. I tell you, if you really, if you're going to have a special teams player tonight so far, that would be him. See, our kicker, Riley Willingham, is kind of limping off the field there. Not sure yeah, he was what happened to him. <laughs> he was limping in warm-ups, Tony. He, he went and... I was watching him in warm ups down there. It looked like he kicked one and he might have drug his toe on this turf or something. He might have hurt himself just a little bit. All right, first down and 10 for the Rams. It'll be their fourth possession of the first half. Going to run it again. And oh, good no. Lord, Cam Wade Little. They're going to probably get him for a face mask, somebody back there. But still, 
You run right into the heart of Caleb Wade, not so little. I don't believe it was face mask, Tony. It looked like he grabbed his jersey on the way by. I didn't see I didn't see a hand in the bird cage. That's what they're gonna call against Dora. First penalty of the ball game against Dora. I'll say we're proud of that. Coach Williams really emphasized the door this week about the penalties, about not giving this Northside team anything for free. Yeah, you really make them earn every yard they get because, like I said, I, I don't think that they're the, the best passing team here. Got a quarterback's real good arm, but I just don't think that that's what they like to do. That'll be Northside's fifth first down of the ball game, this one by way of the penalty. You got Neil Foster and – Sean Pryor in at that linebacker position again. I tell you, Sean, after the long run a while ago, he didn't get any breaks. He was snapped for the extra point a while ago. All right, here we go. Man in motion across the formation, looking to pass this time. And the quarterback's now going to keep it and roll out. He's going to get back. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, goodness, Corey Pryor, did he cover some ground? Great. He, God. I, I was sitting there watching him. He really didn't rush the passer, just stayed in his lane, just going to watch him in his pocket. But the minute he saw him go out of the pocket, he just went flat down the line and just ran him down. Actually made him lose a, a yard on the play. Sure did. Tony lost a yard. Second down 11. Clock moving. 3.05 to go in the first half. 4.20. North side, nothing. I tell you, speed kills. Oh, boy. I tell you, you can't. You, Tony, you, two things about speed. You can't teach it. And you can't coach it. If you got it, you got it. That's it. All right, here we go. Second down 11 now for the Rams. See if they go back to their bread and butter running the football. Had no success passing it so far, and they're going to try another pass here. Loads up the right arm again. And another pass. Complete that time. We're inside the 20 to the 18 yard line. Yeah, well thrown ball that time from the quarterback there. Just found him on the open route. Just had a step on the defensive back then. Just able to get it down to the 20 yard line. Down into the Mr. B's red zone. Mr. B's Express Car Wash Highway 78 in Summerton. Going to be the sixth first down of the ball game. For the rounds, Braden Green, 37 yards on the connection that time. 2.32 and the clock moving. See if Dora can keep the rounds out of the end zone here before halftime. Be huge here. They went more to a spread. Got some of the Dora defenders out of the box there and had a little bit more success here. Little swing pass outside this time. Defense comes up quickly, and that's going absolutely nowhere. Neil Foster on the stop for Dora. Number two, Josh Williams up there also. Great coverage that time by Neil Foster. Then just coming up. I don't think the Northside people was very happy. I think they were wanting a, a late hit there after the little extracurricular after the whistle was blown. Ah, a little bit of a late push. Let's say that. Keeps the clock running. Runs now to a minute and 35 to go before halftime. 24-yard line, second and 14 now for the Rams. Looking to pass again, pump fake. Quarterback's going to roll out. He's going to get his pass off at the 20, at the 15, at the 10, and diving down to the six-yard line for a gain of 18. It's going to be third down and one, it looks like, for the Rams. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I got down to six. I got the first down. I'm so sorry. Still, just brings the first and goal here with a minute 17. But a great heads-up play by the quarterback then. Just had a lot of pressure and was able to find number 11 out in the flats then for a big game. All right, minute 17. Rounds down, knocking on the door here. Quarterback keeper this time. He's going to run it inside the five and get driven back to about the three-yard line. Still, again, just a load coming at you there. Second down and goal now from the two-yard line. The clock goes under a minute to play here in the first half. Northside really not in any big hurry here. They don't want to give any time left for Dora on the clock, and they will receive the second-half kickoff. Braden Green got the football, and he'll run it. Yeah. And boy, he got hit right at the goal line. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Rams. Scores with 37.6 seconds left. Dora will have a chance here. Possibly try and hit some big play here before the half. But Number seven, 
So Green with a two-yard run. Extra point attempt is up. And it is good. Timeout on the field. Door 20 and north side 7. We'll be right back. If you haven't been to Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater lately, you don't know what you're missing. At Lee's you'll find the best food around, including vegetable plates that you can't get anywhere else in our area. You can call 648-9217 and hear our menu daily with a choice of all your favorite meats and vegetables. If you would like entertainment with your meal, then look at our dinner theater schedule featuring gospel music by groups like the Perrys, the Tallies, and the Kingsmen. Great food and great music is what you'll find at Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Highway 78 in Dora. If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard, and you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. And back in, Fisher Roberts kicking off for Northside. Drives the ball back deep. Door's going to. Well, it might have been a good thing it did go out of bounds right there, Tony. He kneel on it right here and go to the locker room. Yeah, with 34 seconds left, you really could have got some. Got the ball out across the 20 yard line. You may have tried something, but now being back inside your 10 here, you may want to just take a knee. But. You never know with the Bulldogs. You got some pretty. You got a bunch of speed out on that outside. You may want to take a shot down the field. You know, a safe throw. Well, hey, you know what? Really, no reason not to. Cause you can always, you can always kneel it down and run it out. Doesn't have enough men on the line. What about? Sean Pryor is going to keep it, wrap both arms around it, and he'll go down right at the line of scrimmage. And they'll see if Northside elects to stop it. I don't believe they will. And I don't believe Dora will snap it again. Yeah, really, just not much going that time for Sean Pryor. Just going to try and take a shot with him again. But still, Dora's happy to go into the half at 20 to 7. Halftime in Northside High School, door 20, Northside 7. We'll be right back with you here on Door High School Network. Stay with us. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. Walker Recycling is a commercial and industrial metal recycling company. Bring your scrap to us. We buy aluminum, brass, copper, stainless steel, junk cars, and more. Prices are market-based at competitive rates. We are located on Highway 78 in Cordova and open Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 4 p.m. and Saturday until noon. Bring us your scrap and put money in your pocket today. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you.
If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard, and you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. Finished Paint and Body in Jasper have certified technicians with over 20 years experience. They specialize in all types of collision repair, replacement, and refinishing. They can handle all collisions from minor repair to major repair and accept all types of insurance. A to Z uses DuPont refinish technology with expert color matching. A to Z has an expert team that take great pride in their work. For a free estimate, give them a call today. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body in Jasper. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. MAK is your local lumber and building supply store with the vision of becoming your one-stop shop that is right around the corner for everything from framing packages on new builds, remodels, and anything in between. We offer a wide spectrum of items from deck packages with installation options to plumbing, electrical, and roofing supplies. Our team is here to help you tackle any project, whether you're a pro or a do-it-yourselfer and we'll load your lumber for you. Come see Chris and Eric Hoagland at MAK Lumber. And welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, to halftime here at Northside High School. Halftime score, Door Bulldogs 20, Northside Rims 7. I want to bring you some halftime statistics brought to you by our friends at Life Unlimited. First of all, for the homestanding Northside Rams, had seven first downs in the first half, 22 carries for a total of 43 yards on the ground, 24 of those from Luke Jones. Four out of five passing for Rams quarterback Braden Green for 55 yards, 98 yards in the first half. Only one penalty for the Rams of the 15-yard variety. For the visiting Dora Bulldogs, 12 carries for 69 yards, 57 of those off the legs of quarterback Sean Pryor. One of those, uh, excuse me, one of them a 57-yard touchdown, 54-yard touchdown run. Three out of four passing for our combined quarterbacks tonight for 99 yards. The first of them being on the first play of the game is Garrett Hoagland passed 57 yards to Sean Pryor for the opening touchdown. 168 yards of offense for Dora to 98 for Northside. And Tony might be the biggest statistic of the whole first half. Only one penalty for Dora, 15 yards. Yeah, he is. Just really just... Cutting the penalties out really helps, but 
you know, Northside come, they changed what they kind of were doing the first part of the ball game on that last drive and had a lot of success. So if you're Dora, that's what you, you've got to adjust now back to that to see what they come out here with the second half. Again, our halftime stats are brought to you by the folks at Life Unlimited Entertainment for the whole family, so be sure you let them know. We appreciate them sponsoring the halftime stats here at Door High School. Once again, halftime score, Door 20, North Side 7. We'll be right back with you. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. Walker Recycling is a commercial and industrial metal recycling company. Bring your scrap to us. We buy aluminum, brass, copper, stainless steel, junk cars, and more. Prices are market-based at competitive rates. We are located on Highway 78 in Cordova and open Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 4 p.m. and Saturday until noon. Bring us your scrap and put money in your pocket today. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. And welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. I want to step back to last week for just a moment, Tony, and talk about the Wilson Machinery and Welding player of the game last week, and that would have been number one, Jamarcus Goodman. And you talked about it earlier, 154 yards, I believe it was, last week. Yeah, I had, I think, about six carries. and really got got it, got everything done before half, right after halftime. And really just something, you know, he's just been just a mainstay for the Bulldogs, you know, for the last few years and still. Just, just a tremendous football player. Just going to have to get that young man going tonight here. Yeah, Tony said it earlier. Going to have to get him involved here tonight because hey, I tell you, the kid, he just gets better as the game gets deeper. And, uh, Wilson Machinery and Welding down on Highway 78 headed toward Jasper. Scholar Athlete of the Week from last week, number one. Again, Jamarcus Goodman. And we'll also go back and talk about our – Elite Roofing Scholar Athlete of the Week from last week, Tony. We talked about him a little bit earlier for just a second. That's Cameron Richardson, one of our big linemen, one of our youngsters out there doing an outstanding job. Yeah, he has just done a tremendous job on the football field. This is playing as I think he's anchoring that offensive line and then plus getting it done in the classroom. And ladies and gentlemen, you see the numbers there on the screen. Our good buddy Kyle Chance, Elite Roofing Solutions, LLC, 205-515-62. Six, three. They just put a roof the other day on New Life Christian Assembly right over behind us there on Horse Creek Boulevard. You can go by and see what a great job they do. But the Elite Roofing uh, Scholar Athlete of the Week from last week again is Cameron Richardson. We've already talked about this Elite Week's Athlete of the Week, Jaden Rouse. So appreciate Elite Roofing sponsoring this for us and bringing this. Talk about these kids and the great job they do in the classroom. Yeah, it is. Just a great idea. Great deal. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to step out as the Northside Round Band winds down their halftime show. Be ready. Bring the teams back out. Get the second half underway here again from Northside High School. Again, Door Bulldogs 20, Northside Rim 7 and a half. We'll be right back after word from our sponsors. At Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, we not only care for you, but about you. 
Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Hey, Dora Bulldog fans. I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. The Edwards Agency has been in business for over 40 years, serving our customers in Jefferson and Walker County. At the Edwards Agency, we put personal touch in personal insurance. We have a dedicated staff of licensed agents that will help you in finding the best coverage available at a competitive rate. Allow our agents to help navigate you through all the coverage limitations and exclusions so you can make an informed decision on the best coverage and best protection for your insurance needs. The Edwards Agency, with two locations to serve you in Summerton and in Jasper. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. If you want to save money on your next mattress, come on down to Dover's Mattress Closeout Center. Yeah, where we told our dad to slice that price. Hopefully we'll see you soon. And back in, ladies and gentlemen. Tony, while we got a minute here, I'm going to let you bring everybody up to what's going on in Class 4A Region 5 in this madhouse of region we're in. Yeah, right now that you've actually got, you got the top four teams in the region is north side is 6-1. and one and four and one in the region. Corner six and one, and four and one in the region. And Doran and Haley will both four and three, but both four and one in the region also. So all four teams, but I think right now the one loss from each team is Northside has beat Corner, Corner has beat Dora, and Dora has beat Haleville, and Haleville's beat Northside. Yeah. So you're, you know, it's, it's gonna take through the next couple of weeks. You know, tonight if Dora can get this win tonight, that that would basically would seal them in, you know, to, to the, to the second place spot at least, if not, you know, and then it happens, whatever happens between the Haleville corner game would probably settle it up. Then Dora could be, could be a, you know, Dora could possibly win the area championship then. Yeah, Tony, what makes this so important, this game tonight and the one next week is, if you look across the state at Class 4A Region 6, the region we're up against in the playoffs, you've got Etowah, Anyana and Cherokee County all sitting at seven and one right now, six and one in their region. So yeah, they're the top three teams in that region, and just three really good football teams there. I think they've done the same. They've beat each other up yeah. like that. So I tell you what, uh, the first true, the last true home game that Dora hosted in the playoffs was 2012 when. Uh, the, it was the 40. It was the 41-40 game overtime against Tallahassee it was the last game we actually won at home. We hosted one against Mortimer Jordan, but it was their actually their home game because their stadium. field was tore up. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a long time since Dora's been at home for the first round of the playoffs, and boy, it'd be good to it'd be good to go home three weeks straight. I can tell you that. Yes, it would be great. Next week, uh, next week is homecoming. Am I right, Tony? Yes, it'll be homecoming against the Oak Grove. Oak Grove Tigers coming over for homecoming next Friday night. The following Friday night, the St. Clair County Saints will come in for senior night 2022. And then hopefully if Dora comes out of here with a victory tonight, we'll open up the playoffs. I'd love to see us get that number one seed, Tony. If we, if we can call up Halo and get them to take out corner next week. That would be huge there. <laughs> Got to take care of business here first, though. Yeah, this Northside will receive this opening kickoff here the second half. The Dora Bulldogs really come up and get a big stop here. Northside coaches, they, they, you know, Tony, and, and you wonder if Northside, if coming out, if you don't just come out and maybe chunk one deep on the first 
first uh, down or something to see if you can catch door napping for a second. Yeah, you really, you've really not had much luck just with a bunch of formations running it straight at this door defense. And now if you can get them, you worry about them coming back out now, spreading the field again, and coming to try to attack us deep down the field. Number 26, Riley Willingham will tee it up for Dora. Dora with 168 yards in the first half, 98 for Northside, but they split 24 more minutes of football. It's going to determine a whole lot in Class 4A Region 5. And here we go. High kickoff going to come down to about the 20 yard line. Going to be returned up the middle to the 25 and to the 30 yard line, first and 10 there for Northside. Got, that time got away from Neil Foster on the stop. He was the first one down the field, but Cole Chapman did a great job on the stop there to start them on this 30-yard line again. Well, Tony, I tell you what, if Cole don't get held the whole second half like he did first half, he might make some tackles. Yeah, he, he may be the key to the second half, just getting up the field and getting some pressure. All right, here we go. See what the Ram comes out with. Come out in their tight formation. Green with 11 carries for 11 yards in the first half. Luke Jones with... Seven carries for 24 yards. See if they try to run it right at Dora again. And they will do just that, and they get absolutely nothing on first down. They like that, that Gaucher on the bottom of that. I think both Gaucher and Sean Pryor in on the stop also. The cam hammer again down on the bottom of that. Number 52, Cam Gaucher. Second down in the same 10 now for the Rams. Jamarcus Goodman on the stop. As you can see now with Sean Pryor and Jamarcus Goodman both, and they're playing defense, you've really not seen them out there much. All right, here we go. Uh, might have had somebody start too quick that time. They stopped that real quick. Yeah, if you can get them for a false start there and back them up behind the chains. That's got to be offensive. Or no. <laughs> Well, if it's the defense, how, how do you stop the play if it's yeah, offside? Wow. I guess you might have had, if you had contact, would be the only thing. Yeah, there. Five yards. And we're making second and five for the Rams. The ball spotted at the 35 yard line. Big play here by the door Bulldogs. You really, you don't need to give them any free yardage. Second down and five now for the Rams. Only the second penalty tonight against Dora. And it off again, coming this side and going absolutely nowhere. Ball. Ball goes out of bounds back at the 28 yard line. Yeah, it was on the field. Looked like one of the door players may have actually kicked it. But great job to bring up a third down and long. Yeah, loss of about two yards that time on the carry by Jones. Yeah, it was definitely a fumble then that time. So third down and six now for the Rams. Makes third and seven for the Rams. Third and seven, 10 On third quarter clock, door 20 and north side seven. Quarterback looking to pass this time, rolls out, heavy pressure on him. Gonna try to step out of it, gets his pass off, and it falls incomplete short of his intended receiver, and the Rams will have to punish you, you think. Again, Cole Chapman that time was able to get a little bit of pressure back on the quarterback, let it kind of flush him off the spot, but still just was being hog collared as he was going down. Well, Tony, I'll tell you something. That's big right there. You get them, they get the ball first, and you get them off the field on three downs. Yeah, you really got to come back in now. We've, we've really we've hit them with a big play so far, but I think you're really going to have to get something settled in on offense and try and get some type of running game. This punt is going to be got to kick it away from Josh Williams. He cannot. He's going to fumble it. I'm trying to get on. I think Northside's got it. Oh, me. Might have been better served to let that one hit, but Northside's going to take it back over. Tough job right there. Just kind of come up just to catch that ball. Just save some yardage then. But still, this just gives him back in good, great field position here. Can't give them anything free. They got it on the plus side of the field now at the 38 yard line. The Rams have the ball first and 10 at the door at 37 yard line. Remember our good friend Troy Nash out in Jasper, the A to Z paint and body for all your automotive paint and body needs. Quarterback started too quick. 
They didn't call anything. He's going to run it forward to the 30-yard line. He got about six, seven on that run. Yeah, look like Dora that time just really wasn't ready for him that time. Colby Stone, Stone Landscaping, another one of our great sponsors. We remember him, does all the landscaping work around the athletic field at Aura High School. Second down and three. Nose of the football at the 30 yard line of Dora after the turnover. And we do have a false start that time, I do believe. Yeah, you had two men in motion. The quarterback's really shuffling his feet at the snap there while a guy in motion. That will cost around five yards. That's a huge five-yard loss for the Rams there. Moves it back to second down and eight now. Tony, you're absolutely right, back at the 35-yard line. Put a negative play in place right here if you Dora. Put him in a third down and get him behind the chains again. Got Trent trips to the right. One receiver to the left this time for the Rams. Quarterback looking left, looking, looking. Now he's going to load it up and pass it downfield. And pressure coming and good job by Eric Rogers. Good job. Yeah, Eric Rogers is step for step with him. If anything, the offensive man may have pushed off just a little bit on him, but great coverage by Eric Rogers. Third down now and the same seven. And you would think Northside will probably go for it right here on the door side of the field at the 35 yard line. Yeah, you gotta think that they, they don't have to get greedy here. They can come with a run now and try and cut this third down play, make it a fourth down and, and less, but still a big play by Northside. Brandon Green standing back at his 40 yard line. Braden Green, excuse me, takes a snap, steps back, pressure coming off the, his right side. Gonna have to throw it away now, throws it out of bounds. And again, the door defense has held on downs. It's bringing it fourth down and, and long, you gotta think. I hope there's not a penalty on the play. I heard a, a second whistle blow. Yeah, I see the officials talking about something, and they're pointing toward Dora. I don't know what in the world it could be. Holding. Holding on the defense. Wow. That's my gracious. That's a first down. Wow. I, I don't know. I never saw the flag on the field either. So two penalties extend this drive now for Northside. Three penalties in the ball game for Dora for 30 yards. First and 10 at the 25 yard line for the Northside Rams. Quarterback's gonna keep it this time, turn it inside and he's gonna lose wow. yardage. Wow, Marcus Goodman coming just like a missile from the backside to help Cam Gauthier finish up that tackle then. Just a big play by the Bulldog defense then. Yeah, Tony, just a real sense of urgency by the door defense here tonight against this north side running game. They've done some great film study, I can tell you that. 8.53 to play in the third quarter, clock moving. North side of the ball, second and 11 at the door, 26 yard line. Bulldogs 20 and the Rams seven. Braden Green now standing right outside his 30 yard line. He'll take the ball looking right, looking, looking, pressure coming. He'll tuck it down, Hold flag on. coming in. That's got to be a holding penalty. I don't know. Let's get the call. The flag came in awfully quick. And they threw it backward in the area towards the north side, so that has to be hope. Yeah, that's holding against the Rams, exactly right. And you definitely got to back them up here and get them in behind the chains because they were two or three yards behind the line of scrimmage, I believe, where the penalty was, was called. They're going to mark it all the way back out to the 40-yard line, so that's going to be a loss of 14 yards. Put you now in a second down and 25. Door, 
So Northside gives back one of the penalties they got earlier. Now Green standing back at his 45, looking left, looking pump fake, heavy pressure coming up the middle. He's going to step out of that. He will not no. step out of Neil Foster, though. He'll take him down at the 40-yard line. Might have got a half yard out of it. Great open field tackled by Foster that time. Really just he, he was spying the quarterback, and when he came out of the pocket, did a great job just mirroring him and bringing him down for a ba basically a half-yard gain or yard gain. Green in the ball game now, Tony, 15 carries for 18 yards. So far in the game, the young man's amassed 73 yards of offense. 7.50 and the clock moving. Third down and 24 now for the Rams. And Green, he'll have Luke Jones alongside in the backfield, standing near the 45. Looking to pass, looking, looking, looking. Loads up over the middle, gets his pass off, and this is going to be tipped away. Jaden Griffin, number 11, number two, Josh Williams, both down there for Dora. Jaden a little slow to get up, but he's up, and that'll bring up fourth down now for the Rams. Scary place to throw the football if you're north side. Right there, you had three men in coverage there. So what do you do on this fourth and 26 here? <laughs> well, you're only down two scores, Tony. You got a lot of football game. I'm punting football and playing defense now. But Northside has not shown a propensity to do that all night. It looks like they may punt it right here. Number three, Garrett Hoagland back in the ball. Yeah, Dora looks like they're going to be in a punt safe right here. Northside still running players in with five on the play clock. They may have to use a timeout. Three, two, one. They did not get it off. They didn't call it. Yeah. Little kick and Dora's gonna let it roll and it's gonna roll inside the five and gonna be touched dead at the three yard line. Time out on the field, Dora 20, north side seven, we'll be right back. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Where are we at, three yard line? Three yard line. First possession. First possession of the third quarter for Dora. It's 7.31 mark all the way back to the three-yard line. Want to be careful and just get it out of the end right here, out of the deep end. Sean Pryor, he'll give it off to number four, Ty Clayton. Runs across the five, giving the seven-yard line, pick up about four. Good play that time. A little slow developing, just coming to the outside with it. But still a great job just getting it out of, route, out of the shadows of the goal post now. Certainly want to try to put together a couple of first downs right here if you're Dora. Fire standing inside his five. Quarterback keeper around the left side at the five. He's at the 10. He's got first down yardage. Runs over a defender all the way to the 18-yard line. A gain of 11. Believe it or not, that's only the third first down of the ball game for Dora. Wow. Just a Dora that time just really Sean Pryor just had all the room just was able to get to the outside just unabated just no one there in his way Tony, just we'll a talk great about, run. hey we'll talk about them big glass eaters up front man alive in the way yeah that touches your heart right there man old lineman all right Pryor this time now standing at his 14 yard line get the ball off on a little pass to Hoagland and that went absolutely nowhere that beat up in the backfield Dora's really not ran that play tonight. It's had a lot of success against Cordova and Hamilton with that type of play. So really look for Dora. Just really, I think, may want to try and show that. That time it may come back with some type of screen pass or another play off of that. Yeah, jet sweep pass that time loses five yards. And I don't know how you can lose five when it's within the yard line of scrimmage. But anyway, they put it up as a five-yard we loss. We've got three men split out to both sides. Flyer's going to tuck the ball down. He's going to go forward to the 15. Gain of two, going to bring up third down and long. They had a late hit against Northside. That time the Dora player was on the ground and getting mauled by one of the Northside players. And going to be 
Third and long now for Dora. Did we have a flag down? I yeah, they got a flag. I think it's a personal foul against uh, Northside, I do believe. Okay, I didn't see the flag, Tony. They must have dropped it. Let's watch a man in the white hat and get the goods right here. We got a dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Northside. So that's 15 yards. Are they good? Is it going to be offsetting? Wow. <laughs> Dora, I, I, Dora Man's on the ground getting mauled, and they call it offsetting. One against Northside, one against Dora. Those penalties offset. So, no harm, no foul on that one. Third down in the same 15 for Dora. A third down and 13 after the two yard game. So See what Dora can do here on third down. Clock stop, 5.51 to play in the third quarter. Same score we had at halftime, Dora 20, Dora side 7. Yeah, the Dora, Dora had one of their offensive linemen split out wide left that time. And the officials are still conferring. Now they're in another conclave down at the 15-yard line. Now what are we doing? I didn't understand what the Dora player did. He was the, the lead blocker down the field. And we got a dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against Northside. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against Dora. We've already been through that. I don't know why we had to go through that explanation again. Especially when it was offsetting penalties. Maybe that was for the understanding impaired. I don't know. Offsetting penalties, third down 13. Same place it was five minutes ago when they started this debate. John Pryor slaps his hands together. Drop back. Swing pass out to Josh Williams at the 15 to 20. The 25. He's at the 30. He's at the 35 and the 40. He's still going. Cuts across at midfield into Ram territory and another flag down way back behind the play. Wow. And let's see, it's right in the area where you know, yep, holding against Dora. Get a huge play like that. And you get a holding penalty, and that'll be half the distance. That'll take the ball back to right around the seven and a half yard line. Wow. At least maybe if they're going to start calling holding, they're going to call them both ways, hopefully. Fourth penalty tonight for 37 yards now. Takes a long pass play out across midfield off the board. Well, you can't decline it. You, well, I guess you could decline it if you're north side. I don't think you would, though. Wow. And it actually was from, it was one yard across the line of scrimmage where they're causing the holding from. Well, that's just crazy. All right, here we go again. Third down now. Third down and 16. Is that what it is? Uh, Got to take it to almost 30-yard line for first down, no matter what. Folks on the north side of the stadium, they whooping it up, trying to make some noise. Corey Pryor back, loads up the right arm, passes down the right sideline, looking for Garrett Hogan. Where's the interference play? My Lord, he got mugged. Wow. Good gracious, alive, trying to come back to the ball. Northside man all over him. Unreal. <laughs> so we got another flag on the play. <laughs> Maybe that's defensive holding. It's in the area of holding against the Bulldogs again. Well, I say I hope they accept it and give Dora another play. It could be a personal foul penalty would be my guess. I can't imagine. This, this this is crazy. This is just one of them one of them things where Dora had just hit one snag after the other on this last possession right here. Coach Williams gonna have to call his troops up and tell them don't. It don't. must be another offsetting penalty here because it looks like Northside's backing and up in the punt. That's a delay of game? No, personal foul. Personal foul, is that what he called? 
Holy Lord. Well, give them the down over. They accept No, it. it'll be it'll be a dead ball. Dead ball. Okay, so it'll be fourth down then. It's going to make us, we're going to have to punt from inside the 10-yard line. My gracious, alive. You ever in your life seen such a <laughs> the, mess as this? this the, the last time I saw something like that was was against, was with Fayette County. And then I had to think Martin Maddox is going to take his jersey off and go after the official. Good gracious, alive. So, fourth down for Dora. Fourth and 23, going to have to punt it out of their own end zone. Josh Williams need to get a good one here. High tail dragon kick, fair catch call for, and taking on a knee at the 36-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, let me mention another one of our great sponsors, and that would be Walker County Recycling, Mike and Terry Owens. Down at the side of the old Bama drag strip there on Highway 78, headed toward Jasper. Been a longtime sponsor of ours. Appreciate them jumping on board here with us and staying with us. I also want to mention the MAK Lumber. That's Eric Hoagland's uh, location down on Horse Creek Boulevard, the former Water Wheel Lumber Company down there for all your building material needs and design diva and design nutrition, Ashley May, and the former country village there in Summerton. Round football for the third, for the second straight time on the plus side of the field. Still nothing to show for it in the second half. 508 to go before the end of the third quarter. And off again. <laughs> and running room inside the 30 down to the 27. Wow. Unreal. Cole Chapman is talking to the official. Just look like he. The, the offensive lineman just had his he hand all in his face mask and just shoving him back down the field. Right, Dora run a couple of fresh players out on the field right here. Second down and one now for the Rams. And off again, coming around left end. Big stick by Neil Foster. Great tackle by Neil Foster that time. Nothing doing on third down. Might have lost a yard. Third down in the same one now for Northside. The game on the play. Well, Tony, you know you can go for it on fourth right here. You reckon the Rams might throw one. Does not look like it. Everybody in tight as they have been most of the night. Clock moving at 420 to play in the third quarter. Quarterback keeper, he'll have first down yardage this time. Gets driven back at the line of scrimmage, but it'll be enough for a Rams first down. Just really overloaded. Just got behind that big offensive line. Was able to pick up that first down then. 16 carries, 20 yards in the ball game now for Jaden or Braden Green. Ninth first down of the game for Northside. Door defense to dig in here, try to keep them push back. Down in the high red zone right here. Give it off again, coming around the left side, and gain down to the 21-yard line, a gain of three that time by Luke Jones. Eric Rogers coming up from his cornerback position with a good tackle that time on the running back, still gain of four or five. That's what Northside North wants to really do, just keep four or five yards, three, four or five yards every carry and just keep the clock rolling and shorten this game down. Need to let them lay one on the carpet right here. I tell you what, this door defensive line has played some football here tonight. And Dora just giving five free yards. Or did the Rams move? Let's see. They threw it back this way. It could be on them. Nope. Nope. Call it on the defense. Five penalties in the ball game now for 42 yards against Dora. Now you got second down and one. 
at the 15-yard line down in the Mr. B's red zone brought to you by Mr. B's Express Car Wash Highway 78 in Dora in Summerton. Second down and one. Quarterback keeper, Braden Green, he'll turn it inside at the 10. He's digging at the five. He's all the way down inside the five at the, looks like about the four yard line. Good cut that time. Dora had him strung out, but did a great job cutting back against the grain to be able to pick up the big yardage there to make it a first and goal. Green now with 31 yards in the ball game. 10th first down of the night for Northside. First and goal at the four. Well, Northside took the drive over after the punt at the 36-yard line. They currently knocked off 32 of those yards in five plays. Quarterback keeper again turns it up the middle. He's going to be down to about the three, maybe the two. Coach having that time cut inside the blocker the end just to trip him up. Quarterback had a big head of steam that time, possibly would have scored, but it's a great tackle by Cole Chapman. A two yard gain on the play, second and goal. Two yard gain on the play, second down and two. Second down and goal from the two. This quarterback is not the biggest kid you've ever seen, Tony, but I tell you what, he plays tough football. Yeah, he's well put together. Just you could just I was watching him in warm ups, just really just got a lot of just looks like the way he moves. He moves like a very good athlete. Braden Green, Luke Jones in the backfield. And quarterback keeper, and he's going to dig. Did he get in? He did. Touchdown for the rim. Well, it looked like Neil Foster may have had him by the leg. It looked like a quick call for the touchdown then. I thought he may have been still a half a yard short. So the Rams draw closer, 20 to 13, on the two-yard run by Green, his second of the night. Roberts in to attempt the extra point. High snap. Gets the kick up. And it is no good. Timeout on the field. Door 20. MAK is your local lumber and building supply store with the vision of becoming your one-stop shop that is right around the corner for everything from framing packages on new builds, remodels, and anything in between. We offer a wide spectrum of items from deck packages with installation options to plumbing, electrical, and roofing supplies. Our team is here to help you tackle any project, whether you're a pro or a do-it-yourselfer, and we'll load your lumber for you. Come see Chris and Eric Hoagland at MAK Lumber. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Fisher Roberts, ready to kick it off for Northside after the 38-yard touchdown drive. And they'll kick it deep down the door at the 20-yard line. And have to be picked up. And it's going to be returned across the 20 up to about the 24-yard line. Jaden Griffin on the return for the run. Yeah, Griffin that time just wasn't able to get a clean catch on him, but still able to get it out across the 20-yard line to set the Bulldogs up here. They, you've got to get something going here offensively. You were really pinned back deep and had a couple plays to get out of there, but you, you cannot have any penalties, anything close they're going to call against us. Tony Dora has had three plays offensively in the third quarter, and that's it. Three plays is all we run in this quarter. And quick pitch out to Ty Clayton, and that's going to go down in the back of the 19-yard line, a loss of four. They did a great job just reading that. We had a strong set to the right that time, and they really just 
got upfield then and just got into the lane and just brought Ty Clayton down as he's taking the pitch. Clock rolls under a minute to play in the third quarter. Four yard loss on the play. Dora now with second down and 14. And Dora just needs a big play. They're just completely out of rhythm right now. Got to Marcus Goodman back in the backfield behind Fryer now. Fryer goes back on swing his pass out to Josh Williams after 20. After 25 to 30 to 35, 40. He's down the left side. Midfield cuts back across the 40. 35, 30, 25. They'll go to the house. 81 yards. Touchdown, dogs. No flags. No flags. Late flag. Uh, on the 28-yard on the line. Wow. Well, it's a long play. It'll stand no matter what. Touchdown is good after the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Against, against Northside. Northside. No, they changed it back. Changed against it back to Dora now. <laughs> good Lord. Wow. My heavenly Lord. The 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 81-yard touchdown is good. Extends the door lead now to 26 to 13. The the Did they? Would they get the choice here to take it on the extra point or on the the? On the kickoff, I, I'm, you know, in a in a one touchdown game, I'm not or two touchdown game now, I'm not sure if I would have made made them back this extra point up. I think you're right, Tony. One point will make a world of difference right here. Riley Willingham in to kick it for Durham. Snapping the placement's good. The kick is up. The extra point is good. Dora 27 and Northside 13. We'll be right back with you. The Edwards Agency has been in business for over 40 years, serving our customers in Jefferson and Walker County. At the Edwards Agency, we put personal touch in personal insurance. We have a dedicated staff of licensed agents that will help you in finding the best coverage available at a competitive rate. Allow our agents to help navigate you through all the coverage limitations and exclusions so you can make an informed decision on the best coverage and best protection for your insurance needs. The Edwards Agency, with two locations to serve you in Summerton and in Jasper. Hey, Dad, now that school's back in session, let's give them a mattress lesson. Okay. Is Dover's Mattress Closeout Center a true closeout center, or is it just a name on the wall? Kids, Dover's Mattress Closeout Center is not just a name on a building. We truly acquire and sell scuffed, discontinued closeout mattresses and adjustable beds discounted on average 40 to 50% off. Wow. That was better than a math lesson, but remember the sloss that frost. Oh, boy. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, officials will step off the penalty against Dora, and that means the Bulldogs will be kicking off from the 25-yard line. But nonetheless, the 81-yard touchdown stands. Riley Willingham will run up, put a toe into it, Drive it down inside to the 35. And going to be a return inside Bulldog territory to the door of 45. <laughs> wow. That's when the north side players runs our player off the sideline. We'll not get that call back to us. One more play, you would think, here in the third quarter. As Northside gets the ball on the plus side of the field at 45. They've been on the plus side of the field the whole second half so far. Big big series here for the door defense. You really got to get back and take control of this game. Now you're going back up by two scores again. You really got to you need to put the pressure on them with the defense here and get them off the field. Braden Green at his 50. Little pass in the backfield. Oh boys, one tackle. Ball. ball on the ground, and Dora's got the football. I do believe Dora Bulldogs recovered it. You see who got the ball that time. Looks like number 19, Corey Pryor. Corey Pryor. Or was it 54, Neil Foster? Where's the penalty flag at? No penalty flag, I'm shocked. 
Corey Pryor on the football for Dora. Big play by the defense there to get the ball back now. At the 34 yard line, 1.4 seconds. Now one play. That's a big miscue that Northside did not need. That's going to be the Rams' second fumble of the ball game. And here comes Doris. Josh Williams will be split out in a slot to the right. Corey Pryor, he'll go wide. Twins to the left side now for the Bulldogs. Also going to bring Corey back in, set him tight on the right side of the quarterback. Give it off here to Jamarcus Goodman. Cuts inside of a hole. He's out across the 40. He's at the 43. Gain of eight. End of the third quarter. Dora 27, north side 13. We'll be right back. If you need new tires or you need a tire repaired, come see Braden and Brian Williams at the new ABC Tire and Repair on Highway 78. They have new and used tires with all the equipment to mount and balance them professionally. They perform tire rotating and balance. They can patch your tire, plug your tire, mount and balance, and tire pressure sensor and more. If you need a new or used set of tires, let them price a set for you at ABC Tire and Repair. Give them a call at 205-255-6194. All right, back in, ladies and gentlemen, Dora, second down and one. They got to get the marker set on the far side. They got it set at second down and six. And second down and one. The chains are not correct. No, that's what I think they're telling them. Lord, have mercy. They're and going the wrong way with it. Good though. gracious. Come on, guys. And they're still not right. At the 43 yard line, second down and one. The far stick is up to 49, should be at the 44. My God, Tony, it's like a ride at a daycare center. <laughs> Unreal. Good Lord. They're shooting at us again. A uh, double X, please. <laughs> Hit me, I'm open. Now Hit maybe me, we're set. <laughs> Second down and one for Dora. Sean Pryor standing back inside his, inside his 40. Jamarcus Goodman behind him. Corey Pryor set it to eight. Back there, move him across to the right side. And quarterback's going to keep it. He's got his brother at the 50. He's got him at the 45. He dives inside the 45. Where are they going to put him out of bounds at the 48-yard line? Really? No matter. That's got another game. flag on the midfield. <laughs> and the, and the, the north side players, they just automatically start pointing back toward Dora. Holding against the Bulldogs. Unbelievable. May have been one of the receivers there on the edge. Just very, very tight call there. You, it's one that you expect to get on your sideline then. Well, you go from a second one yeah, now to a second in about four. four. About, yeah, about four. Calls of where, the, where it was at, which is good. Good thing it happened down on the other side of the field about the 45. Didn't back it up as far. One of those penalties really lucky is just get the down over. It's just really basically not much of one. Uh, are they going I'm sure we moved. <laughs> a lot of dead gums against Northside. Wow. 
Five yard penalty, that should give Dora a first down. It is. And for Dora, that will be, only, believe it or not, that's only their fourth first down of the contest. Wow. Two in the first half, now two in the second. All right, first and 10 for the Bulldogs, 45 yard line, 11 38 in the clock, moving to play in the contest. Dora up by two scores. Quick hitter to the outside to Josh. He'll step inside to the midfield stripe, and he'll have a pickup of five yards. Another good run that time. Hit him on just a little quick screen then. Just bring, spread them out like that and make them run sideline to sideline. Good call by the, the Bulldogs coaching staff. Tony Pryor now with 123 yards passing to go along with 70 on the ground, 193 yards in the ball game for Sean. Trying to draw him off again, slaps his hands together. Plenty of time on your play clock. Dora's going to let this thing melt down just a little bit before they snap it. I wouldn't get out of my rhythm I was in right now if I was the Bulldogs, though. Now they snap it. Quick hitter to the outside again. This is Corey, Cody Kobe. Walker with it. He's down the right sideline to 40, all the way down to the Rams' 35-yard line, a gain of 15. Kobe, one of the faster kids on the team also. Just another one of those weapons out there. Get him out there. He really hasn't played much offense. Got him one catch. Last week and coming back this week now, getting him into the offense as the season goes. He does a lot of things for you at that defensive back position. And they'll reset the chains. Dora with their field first down now. Ladies and gentlemen, i got to mention another one of our great sponsors, Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Highway 78, Doug Ragsdale and his family. Want to remember them as they sponsor Dora High School Bulldog football. Pryor gives the ball off. That's Goodman steps inside, wraps two arms around the football forward for a gain of about four. Yeah, I like seeing that. Just starting to get starting to get a few carries. Is that his what fourth carry of the game tonight? Yeah, fourth carry of the ball game for 22 yards now. I think you really got to establish him here. Really just haven't really had to do that much in this game, but you can let him start eating there with the passes that you've had. You make him get something going. Second and six for the Down and six now for Dora. 26 yard line on the north side end of the field. John letting the play clock run down. He'll snap it around five seconds. I thought now at five. Snaps it at two. Quarterback keeper up the middle. He's going to get taken down for a loss of a yard right there. But I'm not much running for the Bulldogs then. Sean Pryor, I, I really just didn't get a quick whistle that time. I've seen some from Northside earlier tonight on the play the minute that they hit him, that they started blowing it, blowing the whistle, but really let him get hit a couple, three times and lost a couple yards on the play. The loss of two makes third and eight. Third down at eight now for Dora. 9.27 and clock running, playing the ball game. Pryor standing back at his 32-yard line. He got Jamarcus Goodman alongside. And time got out. a quick whistle. May have used a timeout. Dora did take a timeout. So Dora will take a timeout and talk it over. It'll be their first timeout of the second half. I want to mention our final two sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, here. Our final two sponsors of the ball game, Higgly Wiggly. Grocery stores in Dora, in Cordova, as well as the Piggly Wiggly Market up in Hackleburg, Alabama. The Bozeman family have been with us so many years. Great sponsors, always have done such an outstanding job sponsoring us. And our good buddy Evan Tucker, his dad Eddie, and all the great folks at Westwood Appliance down in Forestville. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, whatever you need in the way of appliances. Westwood Appliance is the folks to go and see. Tony would be big right here for Dora if he could get this first down, extend this drive. So right now the biggest enemy from north side is that clock up there. Yeah, it is. If you can really, if you can pick up, you, you still don't have to get greedy here on this play. You can come back definitely on fourth down here. You can take it possibly to seven minutes anyway. If you can get the first down and then get more points on the board, that would really be a hard call task for north side. Yeah, you know you're not going to try to field goal this deep, not with your fresh and Riley Willingham. So, see what Pryor and Cutting comes up with here on third down and eight. 
He's open to the swing pass. Gets a pass off over the middle, and that's to Josh Williams. Breaks a tackle at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Can he get in? Yes. Yes. Touchdown, dogs. <laughs> what a play that time again. Just really you had Marcus Goodman to really that one win in motion with him, but still come underneath to the screen pass to Josh Williams and a great job breaking tackles, getting into the end zone. Prior to Williams, 28 yards for the score. And Dora now stretches the lead to 33-13 with nine minutes to play. Number 26, Riley Willingham. Riley Willingham in to kick it for Dora. High snap again, just fall on it, Riley. Good job. And no good. Timeout on field, Dora 33, Northside 13. We'll be right back. Come by and see the all-new Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique, located on Main Street in Summerton. They have five highly trained professionals on staff, specializing in all the latest cutting techniques and styles. They do color, extensions, and color correcting. And they offer top-of-the-line hair products, jewelry, and clothing. If you're in need of a new look, come by and see Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique in Summerton. Hey Dora Bulldog fans, I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. And back at Lazio Medora puts together consecutive touchdown drives of 66 and 76 yards and extends this lead now to 33 13 with nine minutes to play in this ball game. Riley Willingham in to kick off for Dora. Deep kick this time going to go down to the 15 yard line, be returned out across the 30 to the 33 into the arms of Corey Pryor in Northside will have it there first down. And DJ Taylor also on the stop for the Bulldogs that time. Just had a little bit of a hold in, but a great speed just to close that down. Well, Tony, that turnover by Northside, that fumble. Give the ball over to Dora at the 34-yard line with Northside had a great chance to close this thing and make a ball game out of it. But, boy, it didn't take long for Sean Pryor and Josh Williams the second back-to-back -to -back touchdown pass. They've got 109 yards and touchdown passes in two plays back-to-back. -back. See if Northside can do anything with it right here. Look at the pass, look at the right, looking left, and nobody to throw to. Nobody to throw to. Great job by the door secondary. Now the quarterback, he's going to take off to the other side of the football field with it. Swing pass out there. And Luke Jones is going to have it for a gain of about 15 yards. I don't, I don't think the pass crossed the line of scrimmage that time, but I think if it would have, it definitely would have been lineman downfield. I think one guy was at least six yards down the field. Yeah, ain't, ain't no doubt about it. Good Lord of mercy. Dora dropped back in coverage and did a great job, but just still, just that time really nearly 10, 15 seconds, it seemed like, on the, on the play that time. Tell you, the north side lineman look like an Auburn lineman on the RPO play in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure on the quarterback. He's going to step out of it, gets his pass off, and going to fall incomplete at the 38-yard line. Good job, Dora. Only sent three men again that time, dropping everybody else again in coverage. And just doing Corey Pryor getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Just made him just throw that ball just a little bit high to the wide receiver. Pass intended for Jaden Roberts that time, and he took his eye off of it. I tell you, that was a good job by the coaching staff to get Caleb Wade Little off the field. This big guy, he's, he ran on that one play when they scrimmaged about 20 yards back and forth across the field. Heavy pressure coming on, on the quarterback from Cole Chapman. He's going to get him from high ball. ball on the ground. The door get on it again. I believe they did. Let's look at it. It's like Cam Gauthier. Cam Gauthier, the Cam Hammer, baby. A vicious fumble recovery by Cam Gauthier that time. It 
that fumble recovery is nearly as great as his mother's cakes that she makes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's tell you, man, let's, let's talk about Cole Chapman. Still, Cole Chapman did a Good great Lord. job coming from the backside that time in pursuit. Probably the only time tonight he wasn't really held. Did a great job getting in space that time with a huge strip in the sack. That's the only play they hadn't held it. That's what I think. Only play of the night that Cole Chapman has not been held, and he causes a fumble. And the cam hammer on top of it, baby. John Pryor back in for Dorick, quarterback standing inside his own territory to 47-yard line. 8.03 to play. He'll snap it, give it off to Ty Clayton. Ty's going to be forward for a gain of about four yards. Enjoy that time bringing... Corey Pryor at the done the two by two set brought him in motion back into towards the formation to let him be your lead blocker that time to, for uh, Ty Clayton to get five yards on that play. I tell you what, I don't think some of the folks on the north side side of this field was expecting this tonight. But Tony, we've been talking about Dora. They just they just been getting better every ball game. A little stretch there in the third quarter where they kind of got a little out of it, mentally got some penalties, but man, come right back with two great touchdowns. Second down and six. Fire with a high snap, give it off again, and nothing doing for Clayton that time. He'll lose a couple yards. Still again, that clock rolling below seven minutes on the clock. First contact by number 21, David Perdue. Third down and nine now for Doris. Clock rolls under seven minutes to play. If you can hold this score, Tony, six minutes and 50 more seconds, you got a home game in the playoffs. Yes, it is. And right now, you really, you don't have to do anything special here on this third down and nine play. You don't want to take any, any big real risk, but you take a shot down the field, or if you run it and take time off this clock and then punt this football, it's not all bad. That's exactly right. Flyers under heavy pressure, gets out of it, gets his pass off, and wisely throws it away. And that will bring up a fourth down for Dora. And as he is being tackled after the he throws the ball, just really just gets mauled again. And just no call there right in front of the – wow. And Dora will have to punt it back to Northside. But good job of Sean getting out of the initial tackle and getting rid of the football. Throws the football and gets hit after the pass and no call. So three plays and out for Dora. Josh Williams will be in the punt. He'll be standing back at his 40-yard line. And Josh gets the kick off. Going to be a high tail dragging kick. Going to hit and go out of bounds at the north side 28-yard line. Let's see where they're going to put it down. It's going to be at the 28-yard line, and the Rams will have it right there first and 10. With 6.15 to play. I tell you, this is going to be a tough night to choose. We've got so many oh, <laughs> great gosh. choices tonight for player, the, player of the, game. the game. I mean, Sean Pryor is automatic. I mean, you know, as far as offensive player, 166 yards through the air, 69 on the ground. But... This defense, Tony, has stood up tonight, buddy. I, I, I like that, too. I tell you, the defense, just a whole, it's been a whole team effort. Got some kids that normally don't play defense has come in tonight to help give a little bit of strength off that defense. Green back, pressure coming off his backside. And nobody Dang. to throw to it. He's going down. Number 22, John Krill on the sack for the Bulldogs. So getting him and, and D.J. Taylor some playing time here late in this game. And John Creel did a great job that time. Just nowhere for the quarterback to throw. And just a big, huge loss on the play. Loss of eight yards on the play that time by Braden Green. Braden Green in the ball game tonight. 20 carries, Tony, for 27 yards. I bet he, I bet he ain't had that problem all season. No. Second down at 18 now for the Rams. Looking to pass, pressure coming on the quarterback. He's going down again in the backfield. 
Looks like number 19, Corey Pryor on the sack. Well, I'll tell you that what, time for the Bulldogs. Man, Corey has been all over this defense tonight. Great, Scott. Him and Neil and Cam. Good gracious. Loss of five that time by Green. Third and down, loss on the third last down and 23 three now three for Northside. Ball back to the 15-yard line. Green back again, looking to pass. Going to roll out to his right. Jay Nurbrick after he gets his pass off, and it will fall incomplete to be fourth down. Good coverage down there by the door Bulldogs. I tell you, these two cornerbacks for the Bulldogs, Toby Walker and Eric Rogers, that's that that's two SEC or two college looking players there yep. body wise. You know, both of them six foot or better and just good looking athletes with a lot of speed. Toby Walker all over the coverage right there. So three and out again for Northside and they'll have to punt it back to Dora. Number 11, Luke Jones coming off on the sideline. He ain't too hastily about it. Just not been the night that Northside was expecting on offense. Punt coming, high punt. Dora don't even put anybody back to get around it. They'll just get away from it and leave it alone. It's going to roll inside to the Bulldogs' 45-yard line, and they'll have it there first and 10. <laughs> I, think, I think Eric Rogers may have just been – he was knocked down there at the end of it. I'm not, not sure how much contact was there if it was a – a flop that time. <laughs> well, some irate folks here on this side of the field over here for north side. But I, I think they was fully expecting, Tony, this to be a lot easier than what it's turned out to be. Yeah, and we, and we got a penalty on our sideline now. I'm not, I, I think. Maybe a sideline warning against Maybe Maybe something on the sideline then. I, I don't think the coaching staff was very happy. The official had, the, the north side player was on top of Eric Rogers. And the guy let him up, and the official had his flag out in his hand and then put it back in his pocket. And then I think the guy went back after Eric Rogers again then. And I, I, I don't, you know, I don't understand this. All right, we'll get the call from the official here in just a moment, yeah, if there is a call. We got a dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against Dora. <laughs> well, don't that figure. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> Coach Williams, I think, wants to take a timeout to talk this over with the white hat now. And he'll probably need a new hat after this. Well. Tony, I can, I can understand this aggravation because Sean Pryor, a while ago, threw a pass and got nailed after the pass was gone and nothing. And then this. Tony, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Dora securing a home game in the playoffs. And next week, if we can get a little help from Haleville, be Class 4A Region 5 champions. You, you hate to have to pull against our neighbors from corner, but still, that, that's uh, uh, for a region championship. We've not had one of those in quite a while. That would be a huge goal for this Bulldog team. Yeah, been since 2012 since we had a region championship. Love to have one this year. Either way, I'm going to tell you one thing. This in here tonight is huge. Coach Williams still having a word with the white hat as Chavis had lost his hat there on the, on before that. And, Tony, what do they say in Lyndon, Alabama? <laughs> referees are people, too. Referees are people, too. That's right. Timeout by the door of Bulldogs. I'm not for sure if they charge us for a second timeout now. I think he spent the one talking to the official. I think coach is calling his players over to the sideline and telling them do not retaliate, do not do anything dumb here at the end of the, this last four minutes and 26 seconds of this ball game. Well, I'll tell you something, one thing, Tony. This by far is going to be the biggest victory of the Chavis Williams era at Dora High School. And this may very well be the win that propels Dora 
to that place he's trying to take them to. Yeah, this is one of these teams right here. <coughs> excuse me, we've got all the athletes in the world, and they're just now coming. Had some offensive linemen that was injured in the first of the year, and playing, you know, a Winfield team and a an Aniana team to start the season off that was pretty good teams, and just coming in now, and just they're coming on their own, just really getting their identity on offense. Coach Williams said, Tony, he wanted those first two games for this purpose right here. So that this Dora team would be ready whenever this opportunity rolled around. He was fully expecting this Dora team to turn out like this, and it has. The penalty occurred after the play. Was penalty over. after the play, but Dora, in any case, will have the football first and 10. Now the back at the 30-yard line. I like to see Dora here. So you can be able to run this clock out here, just keep this on the ground and try and pick this first down up. If not, just another punt is not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, one thing you'd like to see if you're a coach, every play you end in Dora a kick. That's it. First at the 30 yard line. Or every possession end in a kick, I should have said. 426 to go in the ball game. Dora with the football first and 10 at the 30 yard line. Quick hitter to the outside to Ty Clayton at the 30. He's at the 35. Hurdles to the 37. That's a gain of seven yards. A great block by Garrett Hoagland again out on the point of contact that time just to help free Ty Clayton up for the extra yardage. Tony, we have got to have a Wilson Machinery Welding player of the game, buddy. we got to pick somebody. I tell you, really, you know, you know, just throwing players out there, just, you know, Sean Pryor's had a tremendous ball game at the quarterback position. Garrett Hoagland came out with the first play of the game on the pass. And Josh Williams has had a tremendous night, Absolutely. you know, as, at the wide receiver. But I, but I tell you, to me, I just I, – and, it, and it's hard to pick anybody on the defense. Just – Josh Williams with the football at the 40. Gets outside of the 45. Got a flag coming in. So that'll come back. Go ahead, Tony. He's talking about the defense. I, I, the defense has just played really – just played so well tonight. You know, just limited – just took Northside out of their ball game in the first half. And finally was able to get some points there, you know, before halftime. Just really got – just a few plays there, just able to spread the field and made a couple of good passes. But still, this defense has just been Johnny on the spot the tonight. Just been really, just had a very good game plan. It's just been executed by a T. Yeah, Tony, you're absolutely right. That so penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Another penalty against Dora. Move the ball back into a second down now and about 15. But, yeah, boy, i tell you what, the defense, Defense is really, Tony, they just they stopped the Northside's running game. Yeah, they, the defensive line to start with had a, had just a job to do, just keep them off the linebackers and let them make the plays. But still, just to, now they've transitioned and had some big sacks here in that last drive. Tony, Northside in the ball game has ran the football for 64 yards. Wow. And that's it. Yeah, there's a flag coming in. Josh Williams is down, but he's, he's – He's limping a little bit. I think he may have been gotten shoved late that time by one of the north side players. Ty Clayton on the carry that time for Dora. I'm sure it's offsetting again. <laughs> Ty Clayton with a gain of about two yards for Dora. I, I'll tell you what I do. I get Josh Weed to put him on side. Yeah, I think he just took his hat off and, and might have just come in. Personal foul against the Rams. <laughs> they had to call that one. Ty Clayton gets two yards. Penalty will give Dora their sixth first down of the ball game. Northside is penalized for a personal foul. Five penalties in the ball game against Northside for 50 yards. That'll be Dora's first down. With with 306 now, I do not, I take the air out of this football now and run it. Absolutely would do it. Jamarcus Goodman, number one, to come in and replace Ty Clayton in the backfield. Home games the next two weeks. First and 10. Old Grove Tigers come in next Friday night for homecoming, and then the St. Clair County Saints come in to wrap up the regular season in two weeks on senior night. And then the first round of the playoffs, somebody will be coming to Horace Roberts Field. 
Sean Pryor, he looks to the sideline. Four, three on the play clock. He's going to have to use a timeout to snap it right here. And then we got to delay a game against Durham. That's still not the worst thing that happened. You still took some time off the clock. Donnie, we're going to go with the defense. I, I like the defense. I mean, it's just there's so many of them that's just hard to pick one. I mean, Neil Foster just had another Neil Foster game. And then just the – uh, just the whole defensive line. You know, you've seen Sean Pryor, Jamarcus Goodman coming in and making some good plays. Cam Gauthier. Cam Gauthier. Da K Caleb Wade Little just playing just a, just a, just a run stopper and eater up the middle. So, ladies and gentlemen, our Wilson Machinery and Welding players of the game for this week, the Dora High School Bulldog. We're going to go with the whole defense. Man, they, they have held this north side rim squad to 64 rushing yards in the entire ball game. Jamarcus wraps two arms around it. He'll go down at the 34-yard line. Still, Doris should be able to take this down to about a minute 55 on the clock here. So what an outstanding performance. The Wilson Machinery Welding players of the game, the Dora High School Bulldog defense. Tony, can't say enough about this defense. My gracious, man. Really? And, I, and one play that, that exemplifies what Dora's done here tonight Back a couple series ago, Cole Chapman runs the ball player down all the way to the far sideline, causes a fumble, and Cam Gauthier dives on it. Yes. And one play here, Corey Pryor run a player down for yes. 20 yards. Exactly. That's that's just the, the heart of that defense has had. All right, here goes Jamarcus Goodman, two hands around the football. And Northside is not going to stop it, so that'll bring up. This will bring it down below a minute on the clock here. Run it down under a minute to play, and boy, I tell you what, it's going to be a good trip back to Dora tonight for this bunch of Bulldogs. Yes, it is. That be a, would be a fun bus ride home. <laughs> Number one, Goodman, he'll go out of the ball game right now. Dora, give this an off to Clayton on third down, you would think, right here. Or the quarterback keeper here. Not that we didn't want Sean Pryor to be the player of the game, because he absolutely deserves it. 173 yards through the air to go along with 69 on the ground, 242 yards of offense for Sean, but we just wanted to give it to this defense tonight. Sean's going to look around, and now he's going to throw the football and going to throw it away. And that will give Dora a punting situation. With 51 seconds left on the clock there. Josh Williams will have to come back in one more time for Dora. He'll have to punt this one. Yeah, he came in. He played the one play before that. Josh back in, he'll kick it back to north side and the Rams will have 51 seconds left on the clock. Number 19, he'll drop back deep for the Rams, that's Jaden Roberts. He's gonna get this punt off here. So Tony, if you coach Williams, everything in the world to be happy about tonight, tickled to death. Uh, you wanna find something to work on, still got Several penalties in the ball game. Got, got had a little mental breakdown in the third quarter, but my gosh, I don't know how you could fuss about too much. No, that's not great punt. Tail dragon punt's going to hit, and Northside's going to get away from it. Roll inside the twenty, inside the fifteen, all the way to the Ram thirteen yard line. With Forty-one seconds left to play. Yeah, you you really you you can have your Nick Saban moment there at the end of this. You really it it it's you know they've done what they've that you ask of them tonight. But it's still something that they've got to expand on and get better next week. You know, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And that exactly and that's right. what he's you know, he you know, he's he's coached these kids up with tough love and you know, he'll be he with with all the distractions coming in next week with homecoming, so you know that he will he will get their kids attention during practice next week. And Oak Grove, we saw the result for them, so they'll officially be eliminated from playoff contention so this is really going to set up the region with corner and door one and two well which order that falls in or possibly it could be, be door available yeah quarterback back to pass here and heavy pressure coming on him he gets his pass off at the 20 and cole chapman's got him at the 21 yard line again neil foster that time just really just a tremendous job then just coming up he didn't make the tackle. Maybe the only missed tackle that I've seen him make, seen him have, but still just coming up just with a big shot on the, the receiver that time. Young man, Braden 
Roberts in uh, Braden Green rather for uh, Northside. That puts him at an even 100 yards of offense on the night. 78 yards through the air, 22 on the ground. One more pass coming. He's going to tuck it down and run it. At the 30 and the 35, he'll be pushed out of bounds right about the 39-yard line. be a gain of 17. Corey Pryor, that time with the shove, that time out of bounds if they stop the clock with three seconds left. Unless Norse, I can throw one to the end zone. This will end it. And, man, what a – what a victory for the Door Bulldogs. <laughs> Cam Gushay was an assist to help get the ball settled that time. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the Wilson Senior Welding players of the game, the Dora High School Bulldog defense, every one of them has been in the ball game. Green back, he's going to look, he's going to get a pass off, and it's going to go incomplete, and that's the ball game. That's the ball game. Final score, Dora 33 and Northside 13. And the Dora Bulldogs officially wrap up a home game in the playoffs. Tony, what a victory for Dora. Great job, great coaching job by the Bulldogs, the whole coaching staff in a great game. These players just did a tremendous job executing it on both sides of the ball tonight. Tony, if we didn't have to give a player the game, I'm going to tell you one thing. We'd hand this to Coach Chavis Williams. His game plan was outstanding, and his kids just executed it perfectly. But, I mean, you come out right off the bat, very first play of the game, 57 yards on a touchdown pass from Eric Hoagland to Sean Pryor and just set the tone for the rest of the ball game. Yeah, we'd run the double pass a couple of weeks ago, but just run the end around pass that time and just still a great call by the Bulldogs to get them on board to start with. Oakland with a pass to Sean Pryor, 57 yards, and then Pryor hits Goodman from five yards with a touchdown pass. Pryor with a 54-yard run, and then the two consecutive touchdown passes from Pryor to Josh Williams, 81 and 28 yards, and the Dora Bulldogs walk out of Northside High School with a 33-13 victory. Man, it's been a great ball game. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. We're going to wrap everything up, get headed back toward Dora for my broadcast partner, Mr. Green Top, Tony Hedrick, our producing director, Mr. Donnie Early, our technical director, Nora Sumner. This is Buddy Sparkman wishing y'all a great rest of your weekend again. The final score, Dora 33, Northside 13. God bless you, everybody. See you right here next week on Dora High School Network. If you haven't been to Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater lately, you don't know what you're missing. At Lee's, you'll find the best food around, including vegetable plates that you can't get anywhere else in our area. You can call 648-9217 and hear our menu daily with a choice of all your favorite meats and vegetables. If you would like entertainment with your meal, then look at our dinner theater schedule featuring gospel music by groups like the Perrys, the Tallies, and the Kingsmen. Great food and great music is what you'll find at Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Highway 78 in Dora. If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard. And you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985.